Holy cow, look at that. First ever koi fossil I think I've seen. That's gotta be it. Nope. Love these steps through it. Ed, have we seen all the water features now? No. Wow, look at this rock. I mean, that rock right there is probably 20,000 pounds. 23,000. That was 3,000 off. His brother next to it, the twin, 30,000 pounds. Look at this dive rock right here. Wow. I love that rock. All right, where are we off to now? See the Wizard of Oz. We have the rustic zigzag bridge, we call it. That is a cool bridge. I hear it, and I love this bridge too. My goodness. This is about a 70 foot long pondless. When did you build this? A year and a half ago. Okay. Oh, I love that big stone there. So this is a 70 foot pondless waterfall? Yep. Wow. I love this bridge. Oh, I love that. Intake and pump is right here. So once again, aqua blocks down here. Yep. That's a big stone there, buddy. Wow. Beautiful stream. Ed, have we seen all the water features now? No. There are still yet two, which are the two newest that were built within the past 10 months. Wow. Which is on their other property next door. Wait a minute, other property next door? They've got nine acres here. How much is next door? Seven acres. Why not? Seven more acres next door. It's an anthill of contractors at the moment. We're trying to get it all together for the daughter's wedding, but we're working real hard as a team and we're getting it done. Awesome. Did you put that rock there? Yeah. Imagine that. This piece of lawn used to just continue sloping down, but we brought in 5,000 yards of soil and created <laughs> a mountain. But what it does is it gives you the third tee box. More funky, cool art. And then here's the tee off, huh? Oh! <laughs> Gorgeous, with all the sedums growing in between it like it's been here forever. Okay, so this is where the wedding's happening, huh? This is where the wedding is happening in three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got a little bit of work to, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're not working today. We're touring pods. <laughs> wow, so this is a seven acre adjacent property that they acquired. Yes. They're building a bigger property over here for? For their kids. Nice. Yeah. Mom and dad, someday, please. <laughs> okay, I see, is that a pondless? A 90 foot pondless, large boulder. Oh, look at this. You even got a seagull down, got seagull down here. And there goes the seagull. Look at that stone. So, this is all that stone you were talking about that you hauled in from New Hampshire, right? Yes. Five and a half hours away. Yep. This looks like you picked up the whole thing out of New Hampshire. Wow. Oh, wow. So there's an aqua block. So all below this area right here, it's filled with these aqua blocks. And these aqua blocks get shipped flat. You assemble them together. They're made to be fit together. And that's what creates the void space. The liner goes beneath them. And each one holds about 33 gallons. And there's your Aquascape snorkel for clean outs inside of this big ABS pipe. And then you can actually see, if you look down there, you can see the aqua blocks all down there. So this is a spectacular job. I mean, how much stone did you bring in for this? Total between both projects, it was... That project over there that I can see behind you and this one over here, how much? Close to 5,000 tons. So that would be how many pounds? That would be two One times... Million. One million pounds. Wow, look at this rock. I mean, that rock right there is probably 20,000 pounds. That rock weighs 23,000. All right, I was 3,000 off, 23. And his brother next to it, the twin, came in at about 30,000 pounds. Right back there? Yeah. Okay, so this is an artist at work. He's got a rock sloping down here. This is where the waterfalls is, and then some smaller ones in this, but that's a 23,000 pound stone. Wow. up 
plants growing right beneath the waterfall. Look at those steps across. Very cool how you put those in. Little beach area. The sedums growing right where the water is. Look at how these three waterfalls come together. That is art. John Frost built that. Okay, so another certified Aquascape contractor that you brought in. What were the contractors that were actually on here, Ed? We had Charlie Holland. Chester Hollow. Chester Hollow Water Gardens. Jack Haru. This is my favorite waterfall this year. From Atlantis Water Gardens. John and April. Oh. Here we're just taking little pieces of slate, fitting them in the space and gluing them together. And when we get done, it'll look like a little wall. Ralph B. Z from Arizona and Alan Decker from Decker's Pond. Wow. So on big projects like this, you're a one-man band. Yep. You bring in fellow certified Aquascape contractors. You pay them a day rate and you work together on a so you project manage. Yes. Wow, and you got a new, cool bridge here. What's underneath this is a wetland Wetland filter. Makes sense. So explain how that works. So the water gets pumped up from the vault system down below. From down below, comes up through here for two pipes. We have two pumps running this. We have a 17,000 and a 10. Wow, and that's the view from those windows is of this. So were they happy? Oh, ecstatic. And this was the second project we did. The first project is over there. Let's, Let's go see that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at the size of those rocks. Oh, look at all this slate work. My goodness. Look at that. So on this project, I can see you brought in BJ Linger. Yep, and April. When we get done, it'll look like a little wall. Gave him a hand with a lot of this, but BJ's mad scientist ideas and the slate Definitely work. Wow, look at that. That is art. The moss in here. Big waterfalls. And this is a vanishing edge to a pond that's up there. Yeah. Wow, let's see the pond. Oh my. So they wanted a recreation pond. Yes. And you gave it to them. No swimming pool. They didn't want a swimming, traditional swimming pool. Look at this dive rock right here. Wow. I love that rock that you flipped upside down there. Um, it's a 20 by 40 wetland filter. You could literally go beneath that too. And just There's a sit. cave behind it that Amazing. April has placed some plants in. Uh-huh. So there are some plants back underneath that cave. And Jack Har used hat. Oh, yeah? What's the story this there? Big straw hat that he always used to wear. Uh huh. Disintegrated on this job, so they dedicated it and they stuffed it in behind those rocks. <laughs> it's, it's buried awesome. there forever. Yes. Time <laughs> capsule. I love that, and I love the steps down into it. Wow. And then here's the entire wetland up here. So, how many aqua blocks did you use? Oh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Bigger 20 by 40. This thing held. A couple hundred and then the basin holds 5,000 gallons of water. That's got a butt load. That is simply amazing. So it's a first year ecosystem. You've got some string algae, but you can get rid of that with the ion gen. When they move in here, they'll probably put some ion gens on it. Yep. And then every year that this goes, the ecosystem will get more and more established. And eventually the nutrients from all of the plant loads will compete with the nutrients for the string algae along with the copper ions and you won't have almost any string algae. Yep. All right, well, there's a lot of work to be done here before the wedding, but this is gonna look a little bit different in about, what, three weeks? Three weeks, yes. What would that room be called? That is the recreation room, hangout room, their kitchen, double kitchen is in there. I'd say that would be a good hangout room. Wow, recreation pond. Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Rock work everywhere. And look at this incredible slate work. This is uh, one of the signatures. Just spectacular. There are some very unique pieces to this that nobody really knows. But okay. There's light that hangs up underneath here. Uh huh. That shines down. Back here, 
there's a piece of plexiglass. Oh, wow. That there's a light inside there. Yes. So this will glow at night, so you can sit here for your drink. And ah, okay. <laughs> is this a fire? This is a fire bowl. Oh, that's hilarious. That is awesome. April. April Dugan. did this? Uh-huh. These special tops where she drilled in. Uh-huh. Little pieces on made these tops. It's the art. It's the art. I have never been on a more impressive personal property than this one. And the fact that these people think water features are the central theme of their gardens is awesome because obviously as a pond guy, I love to see that. But water is life. Everyone can design around water. Everything is based off of water. So the fact is that this yard, they're gonna be more ponds. That's incredible. They've got this one, they've got this one, they've got six others over there. And then I just found out that there's gonna be another pond coming in right down in here. And one in the front yard. These are waterholics. The average consumer gets three water features. These guys are gonna have nine, 10, 11, even more. If you like this stuff, if you wanna inspire more people to live the Aquascape lifestyle, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow along and visit incredible artists doing beautiful things. I love my job. Amen. Yeah.